Hello everybody and welcome back to Create with me, ZF, and today we have a gift, apparently, from Tango. Thank you, Tango. Well, oh, wow, hang on. i got to be careful here because <laughs> knowing Tango, this might explode or something. Uh, take it out very carefully. Any explosions going on? I don't think so. Whoa! Okay, look at this. A beautiful little present. A bunch of wings, including my original ones that he's just thrown in there messily. We'll take those. We've got another ender chest. We've got rockets galore. Oh, Tango, this is beautiful. This is amazing. And it now means we can actually test out our new Elytra launcher ourselves. Pop those on instead of a chest plate. And we go, hello. Oh, <laughs> oh it's marvelous. That is so, so nice. It, you take no damage as well. Thank you, Tango. I'm ripping, ripping down your whole gift now. And for anyone worried that wings aren't particularly creaty, don't panic. As soon as we have trains up and running and stuff, we're gonna be choo-chooing our way around town and these bad boys are coming off. You might also notice just how much free space we have here now. Cog 2, you've got the full run of the place. We have ripped out our washer, smoker, cooker, smelter thingy because we built it down in the floor last episode, which I remember now. I totally remember. We've got four fans on each. You can do eight. I'm an idiot. I realize that now, but you know what? This is okay. This is more than enough. I can't really add more fans to this very easily. So um, you know what? We'll leave it like this for now. But what we do need to add down under the base is made clear from looking in it. Look, look at the Oh my case. I'm casingless. And this is bad because these, these are such a pain in the bum to craft. Now you've got to place some logs down. You've got to shave the logs down. That's not a shaver. Shave the logs down and then you've got to physically right click on them to do it. It's a cool mechanic and it's certainly nicer than just crafting in a stupid old crafting bench like the old fashioned way. But it does mean we need to get a little bit more clever with how we automate them. Oh yes, and just like that we have another flat tree born. Look at this one, go! Oh, it's poking and punching itself and all doing all sorts of things. So this one is very, very fun. Um, we have a little filter here that just says, if it's a log, let it through. So for instance, we have some logs. That comes down and it places a log. Very nice. And now there's more logs ready and waiting in there. Um, then the next thing down here, this is going to be our, um, our, our shaver. So if we make a whole bunch of these, we can chuck those all in there and they'll go through and they're shaving it. Boom, look at that. And it just it sits around and waits. And this last little very tentative pokey one, this filter um, is going to be, in fact, let's take a quick look at it. Boop. It's going to be for all four of these, the four things that we can actually make the casings out of in order. So that's very very nice, boop, like that. And then we can put, let's put like, I don't know, let's make a little bit of brass and a little bit of that. Boom, so it's already brassing it up. Now all we need is our drill up on top here, going at a little bit slower. It's gonna break, 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 very nice. And then this hopper picks it up. Um, it, oh, including some soul sand, thank you. So that's just gonna keep going and making the casings. And as soon as this has run out of all of its brass ingots, then the andesite alloys are gonna come down. Oh, perfectly straight. What? Apparently I'm perfectly stressed. Well, I, t I that, that, that's a lie. <laughs> but we gotta uh, go around this thing up, uh, uh, oh, like that. And we've got to prettify it up a little bit and put a nice background back here as well, uh, wherever I can, I think. Boop, like there, yep. And with one right there, like so. Ta-da, we are done. Our flattery is complete. I think flatulations are in order. But I am genuinely loving um, how this is going. Oh, we need little uh, little name thingies on all the stuff as well. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, we're not done yet. Oh, we placard you, and we placard you, and with that, it is finally done. And that stress level, oh, it really is perfectly stressed, isn't it? Well, I apologize. How nice are these things looking? I love, I just love the motion. You know, I think that's what it is. The motion is beautiful. But for now, we'll leave the underside of the cube to work on something else. And this is something I've already built. All these very special steak that I'm keeping, by the way, I could never eat them. Um, you might have wondered where I was getting them from. Well, take a look under here. I secretly built something without you even knowing it that has been helping me a lot. Hello, baby cows. Hello, oh, we get a bit of XP from coming in here. We have a very, very simple cow farm. It's literally a bunch of cows stood on top of a piston extension pole thingy like that, basically like a fence post, but where they're not like hovering it. Um, this hand up here is just forced feeding them wheat over and over again um, that's coming from our farm above. So as soon as they can be bred, they are, the babies drop on down. And then when the babies grow up, they are in head height of this lovely shiny sword, which in fact, we can take a little look at it it is Bane of Arthropods for all these eight-legged cows. But the main one's really looting and fire aspects. So it's cooking it and it's looting it for us. Uh, maybe we see a cow grow up right about now. That would be fantastic. 
I love how pathetic this thing attacks. It's just like, uh, oh, a cow. Okay, very nice. It's going to attack pathetically on fire cow. Very nice. And with the looting as well, that drops down into some hoppers. All gets picked up over here. Tons of steak and leather and all sorts of stuff. And uh, we'll even fill up our steak then. We've also got a spare looting sword here if we need it as well. Thanks, cows. But you know what? No. No, thank you, cows. That is too vanilla for my liking. We want to use the create mod a bit more. And looking at the food here, we've got sweet rolls, chocolate glazed berries, honeyed apples, builder's tea as well, which is very nice. And you can see here the honeyed apple is actually the best food source you can possibly get. In fact, if we compare the steak and honeyed apple, you'll see they heal exactly the same. They're almost identical, except one of them is meaty and juicy and the other one is uh, sticky and, and red. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll be replacing our all steak diet with an all honeyed apple diet. Um, and they're quite interesting to make as well. We have to do squirting, honey squirting on an apple. Of course, we'll give you a honeyed apple, which is very nice. We know how to get the apples from trees and honey, of course. Uh, does it even show us? It's from bees and stuff. You can basically pump it out of a bee house as well. So um, if we take a little look over yonder, you'll see that we have our um, our factory area here, our joint factory area with some, uh, there's a cobble generator here. There's some very interesting stuff going on over there. And then the main processing factory too. So we actually want to build two farms over here, an apple farm and a honey farm, and they will get brought into the factory and turned into delicious honeyed apples for everybody to munch on. But you know what? I don't think I could do this alone, so let's get a bit of help. B-dubs, I'm, I'm, yes. I'm a hungry, hungry boy. I'm so yes, hungry. Yes, me too. I'm so hungry. And we, you know, all I got is this. Stupid steak. And, uh, oh, wh stupid wh steak. Wh what are you eating? Yeah. Delicious steak? It, what, yours isn't but stupid, it's then. stupid. Oh, it's a bad I stupid. hate it. It's dumb. And why is it dumb, B-dubs? Because... It's vanilla. Oh, it's, it's so vanilla. Get out of here. I'm throwing more. I, th I think we have options because create this lovely mod that we are we are frolicking in right now allows yes. us allows us so many different food options and one of them has caught my eye. Beat up. So we're gonna we're gonna try a quick quick little quick fire answer game right now and we'll see if we're, we're okay. thinking the same oh, thing. Oh yes. Okay, okay. Of course. Of course. What's your favorite Minecraft food? Golden carrot. Favorite Minecraft food beginning with an A? Apples! That's... Golden apples. Uh, that begins with apples. A <laughs> that's it. That's the that's the one I'm thinking about. And you know what's better than an apple? What? Imagine, imagine beat ups. That apple dripping in 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 gold. gold. No, not gold. No, go. No. Wow, golden apples? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 okay. Similar, similar, but not. Hun okay. Honey. Honey, sticky, <gasps> sticky, Ooh. sweet honey that the bees buzz around and they poop Ooh. it out. I'm not sure really, but yes. they do something. And then that apple has yes. just gone up a billion times. Imagine having a, st a stack of golden, no, no, got golden honey. Oh, oh. I love golden apples. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a honeyed apple for our beat-ups. I, I, honey. I, I got the plans. You got the looks. We could do this together. Well, actually, do you have a location, like a general idea of placement? I mean. First. See this big flat area that goes on forever? Yes. There. Somewhere out here. Somewhere. Somewhere you can see. Yeah. Not entirely sure. Obviously, we're going to be getting like okay. trains and everything coming all through here soon. You got your beautiful yes. monorail there as well. So, yeah. We, we're some, somewhere probably here. We're probably homing in on the general vicinity. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Obviously, the monorail here. I, I've not had <sighs> a good look at it yet. This thing. Has it got a name? M mono... <sighs> mono... Uh, rail. It, is it functional? Is it rideable? It's, it's functional, yeah. It's a dangling on this, the red, the gantry up here. Can we only yes. go as far as the gantry can, can see? That's... Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can't go super, super far. I'm, a I'm making it longer. I long, I make long the gantry. Can I see it moving first? Yes, I have a spot where I can jump on if necessary. Oh, yeah. And we are a go. Oops, scaffolding. Um, and we're go. Ooh, look at that. wow! That's really smooth. Yeah, in yeah. the building. And then it hits its spot. Oh, and it bounces. And it bounces back, so it's going to drop off inside there. That'll be like a drop-off system. Look at you Hello. go. 
That's, that was a reveal. <laughs> yeah. Can I jump on from here? Is this? Am I going to do something really cool? You know, this should be fine. You'll be good there. Yeah. yeah. Action hero! I did it. Hall oh boy, hall oh boy. Yeah, go for the middle. You got it. Nice. I want to. I want to go further, Peter. I want to go to the horizon. Yes. Let me just break this. Let me break this thing. Okay. And we should be. We should be good. I break. It broke. Okay, and then oh, I can I have to just keep placing gantries now, and we just go as far. And I've ha. got whoop, I broke ha. I broke gantry. Oh ah. my face! Ha. How many did I make? <laughs> For real, how many gantries do you have? <laughs> oh, I got like eight stacks. Okay, we, we, eight stacks. We're going. We're going. Oh, we crashed into a tree. We crashed. We crashed into a birch tree. I got to reverse this switch, and. You should be coming back. I'm returning. Oh, I love it so much. Well, this this is glorious, mm -hmm. beat ups. I'm I'm loving this. Yeah. I can't wait until we have more more things just moving around. You know, everything needs I to know. move. Everything. Yes, yes, we're getting there. Now, before we begin building anything at all, we need two things. We need saplings for applings, and we need bees for honeys, right? And uh, the first thing, obviously, would be apples from a, a lovely little oak tree like this. You might get one or two if you're lucky from each tree, but no. We are in modded, and there's something much, much better. And that are these things. Look at them. These are orchard trees, and they are humongous. And I do believe if we chop one of these down, we will be rained with apples upon. Chop, chop, chop. Choppity chop. Break the tree down. And that all went down. Ended up in here. Yeah, 21 apples just from that. And that was a little tree. And these orchard saplings as well. So, um... We're going to chop down a bunch more of these big boys, <laughs> get a bunch of these orchard saplings, and these are the ones we're going to use. Oh, interestingly, if we hover over this sapling, it says, look, a sapling pattern can just be one or it can be a three by three. So I definitely need to check out. Is this going to be like the world's biggest tree that you've ever seen? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's a big boy. Okay, let's compare that to just a regular, a regular tree. I don't even have the room for it. Like that. You know what? It's not actually that much bigger, is it? It's certainly not like nine times bigger, which you would you would imagine. Timber! There it goes. That was all with my strength. Um, oh, it left residue. Oh, okay. But uh, hey, tons. Tons of apples. And from tree to bee, I think there's some bees around here. Two bees, in fact. We, two bees or not two bees. We need two bees. Um, yeah, Shakespeare didn't know. Uh, the answer, but I do. There's a couple of bees buzzing around. Excellent stuff. Okay, we just need to let these go home. Maybe we can lure them a little bit, um, and then we will nab their hive. Oh, their bombs are dusty, and they're going home. And you, your third little one as well. Turns out it wasn't 2B, it was 3B. Huh. Anyway, let's grab that. And yoink. Total bee location indeed. So we've picked out a couple of spots here for our two farms. Um, nicely in line with where the trains are going to be. They're going to be coming along this main thing. We even have some very static looking power at the moment. But that is coming all the way from the main factory over there. So we can just hopefully connect up to that if it was spinning. Uh, we've got some bees going over here. I've been breeding them up. Uh, making the old beehives and that. We want to obviously expand this massively. Make the baby... Be Why have you stopped flapping? Make the bees grow from babies into adults. And over here, boom, we want our apple trees to grow too. So I think we're going to focus on this side first whilst our bees make our babies. And we'll see how we get on. Fully hooked in to the main grid now, supplying the power and this thing. <laughs> this thing is intimidating. I don't know. Oh, it does hurt and it knocks you back and that's okay. That's fine. This is for trees, not humans. Um, and we're going with the spinning blade technique, the circular saw. Instead of this kind of like back and forth pistony thing, which I really like actually with this little latch here, um, automatically just going back and forth. It's very, very nice. But if we put a sapling here like that, this thing actually becomes a block then and then, then and then. So as soon as it's in block form, you can kind of see it flash a little bit. It breaks blocks and that's no good. Whereas this thing, you can see we can put a sapling down. It will never turn back into block form, thus never break the sapling. Spin for the win. I coined a term, which is nice. You might have heard people on the server referring to these portable storage interfaces as kissy kissies or uh, smoochers as I prefer it. Um, so that's nice, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we're not even using them for this particular thing. Even though it's a spinning thing, how are we going to get the items out? Well, obviously, they're right there. The funnels, if you put them facing down like that, um, even though they're on a moving thing, they still just poop the items out. Uh, we can even, like, filter them to be specific things. So you can see we've got them all set to drop a stack of 64 of each of those things. So if we grow a tree over here, hey, ja, 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 
Very, very nice. And then when that chops it down, you will see, boom, there, all four things get pooped out in nice little neat piles ready to be processed. Oh, the bees are really getting busy now. That's very nice to see. And this thing over here is complete. Uh, so the four equal nice piles of poop will fall out and land on those conveyor belts and all get merged into one. And then we've basically just got some uh, haja. Oh, oh, I can't, I'm going to go down here to show it. We've basically got... Um, some different priority based things. So the first thing that everything comes across is a stick filter that will pull things off this belt. Basically, we're just going to burn the sticks. Get rid of them. Burn the sticks. We don't need them uh, because we're going to be getting loads of logs and that anyway. We can turn those into good sticks. I prefer my sticks. Then apples will get pulled out next. And obviously, that's what we want to collect. Um, but if that ever fills up, then the apples will just keep on going, which we'll get to in a moment. Then the logs get pulled out as well. We might as well turn this into a wood farm two and obviously we can make sticks thank you very much um and then up the top here we are pulling out the saplings for the very first time they just go into a into a little hopper there which goes into the sapling placing hand thingy which we'll get to in a minute um but if that ever fills up then that all goes on to these next two uh, this is overflow apples and overflow saplings any overflow wood or sticks and um, we'll just fall off the end here and we'll have to we'll have to burn those as well um, And that all goes into this chest here, which is all compostable the apples and the saplings They go down get composted um, Into a hopper there and into a fan. This is blowing up these shoots Like that um, you can see items move upwards So anything we put in here if I put a little bit of bone meal in you'll see they go in and They go up into the bone milling hand up here as well uh, we also have a, a a sort of bone meal dump that we can uh, put things in there as well. In fact, we're going to do it. We're going to put all our bone meal in, and that's going to feed down into the hand there. Um, and I think all that's next left to do is uh, let this thing go. So I can just throw these saplings down, and the, the machine will pick them up. Haja! Like so. Excellent. That's going to all go into there, and then the magic will begin. Oh, we got sapling. We got bone meal. It's happening. <laughs> it poops it all and the next one starts going. This is incredible. That's so many apples there as well. Oh, I was wrong. That's so many apples right there. That filled up so quickly and then the wood filled up and now it's just spilling out over here. Stop. Stop, machine. <laughs> we need to add a proper way to stop this when it fills up. And the bees, they've been going busy as well like crazy. Look at them. There's so many of them. In fact, we also have the whole bottom side under here as well. It's very, very easy. We just literally pump... Um, underneath every single hive um, out and then we pump all of that into a big tank and I think if we go boom and we go boom that should work and you should start filling up with honey I believe there it is honey and with that we should be able to take some of our apples pop one down there like so and have our very first taste is this gonna work oh there it goes oh my goodness it was so squelchy look at that Oh, yum, yum, yum. That is the tasty stuff. And with that, our honeyed apple production journey has begun. Uh, we will catch up with B-dubs um, another time to see how wrapping these two farms up is going. And we'll also uh, mass produce these apple bad boys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It means a lot. It really helps me and the video out. And of course, a massive thank you to my honey dripped patrons whose names are all over the screen right now, helping to make episodes just like this one possible. Thank you all so very, very much. But until the next episode, a good, a bee.